Today I'm replacing the blinker switch on my brother's 96 Chevy Monte Carlo. Um, the symptoms that he's having is if he turns the blinker switch left or right, it does not work, and the taillights don't light up. So, first thing we're going to have to do is remove the airbag. There are two bolts. Let's see if I can get a good perspective here. On the back of the steering wheel, right here is one of them. And there's another one on the other side just like it. They are size 30 Torx. So you just stick that in there, loosen it up. Once you get those free, they stay in the steering wheel. They don't come all the way out. Then you can pull your airbag forward and you'll see this lovely yellow cabling here. I've already disconnected it. But this is your clip right here. And this is what goes into it. It is locked in place by this lovely green clip. All you have to do is push one of these sides or pry it hard enough and it'll just slide out. Then you can push down your top on this clip and pull it out of there. So now that we've removed our airbag, we should disconnect um, this connector here if your vehicle is equipped with the steering wheel controls. And that's from this clip. It's uh, held in place just by friction in between these two rubber pieces. So you just lift it up a little bit and then uh, lift this here and it slides right out. Next is your horn. You give this a little turn and it'll come right out. It's spring loaded. You have to be very careful that you don't uh, twist it too hard otherwise you'll break, break the little plastic peg right off of it. And then you'll, your horn will never work again. Next thing we have to do is remove the uh, nut on the steering column here. It is a size 13 sixteenths, I believe. Yep, that's correct. So take that off. You need to mark where your steering wheel is um, in relation to this shaft. Otherwise you'll end up with your steering wheel off a few degrees. And while it doesn't make your driving unsafe, it is quite annoying. So use a chisel or a punch of some kind. Just make a single line here and also mark on the steering wheel itself and when you reinstall it line it up that's it so I'm gonna pull this and then get my steering wheel puller in place so here's my uh, steering wheel puller all assembled here you can see the central shaft the two bolts these are what go into the steering wheel this pushes on your uh, steering column whatever that's called and you just give it a turn. It will give you a lot of resistance when you first start turning it. Then you'll hear a click or a clunk or something and it'll come loose and turn really easy. So just turn that till it's free and you can pull the steering wheel off by hand. There we go. We're ready for the next step. Now we want to route these two wires through the hole that goes through the steering column very carefully. So I'll do that and we'll proceed to the next step. Now that we've removed our steering wheel, we have this clip here that we need to remove. Best way to do this is with an actual tool that's intended to remove snap clips like this. Um, otherwise, two picks and a couple flathead screwdrivers will do the trick. So that's what I'm going to do since I don't have the right tool, is a couple flathead screwdrivers and some picks. So here it is after I've removed this wonderful coil thingy. There's a metal wire in here. That's another retaining clip. So basically the same thing, couple picks, flathead screwdrivers, um, needle nose pliers, things like that. You will need to push this metal ring down and then pry your wire up apart where it comes together here. Then lift it up onto the shaft. And there's a couple places where it'll wanna click into place. So keep one end higher than the other as you're pushing it up. And after this, we should be at our um, blinker switch Okay, so here it is with that little ring clip removed uh, It's nice and loose now We are going to want to make a mark it only goes on one way, but it can be kind of frustrating So make a mark just for your own reference and then remove it So here is our uh, switch There's a couple screws these two to pull this uh, assembly off. It won't come out of the column, but it will make it loose so you can get past it. There's a screw here, here, and let's see, I think there's one more. 
Oh no, just those two. The ones that hold it on are this one, this one, and this one right here. So I'm gonna remove these, and then our next step will be disassembling part of the dash so we can pull the wiring through the steering column. Exciting. Your two screws here are size 20 Torx, and this other one is a Phillips. That is all. So here's the last screw. It's also a size 20 Torx, and that shows up after you remove your uh, blinker control here. So I'll remove that, then we should be able to get this loose and start disassembling the bottom of the dash. So here's our mess of wiring that we need to remove. It's this big ribbon right here. It runs up to this nice big flat piece with a little blue clip on top. So if you pull this one bolt, oops, this one bolt, it'll let you pull the whole thing out so it's easier to work on. And I think this is also something related to it, so you should disconnect that as well. I'll get right on that. So here's that big connector. You can remove your portion that goes to your blinker switch just by putting a flathead screwdriver underneath it, prying up a little to get it over that clip. Then we get to feed it up and through the steering column and pull out our blinker switch. Be sure you disconnect any other wires you see that run to it, like for example this one here or this one here, if your car is equipped with such things. So here's the new blinker switch. And I ran my wires here and just Stuck the connector in the same way the old one came out. Use your screwdriver to push on the connector, down the steering column, and then pull it all the way through here. I did find out what this is for. Has to do with the uh, ignition, not with the blinker switch. So, I'll push that through, connect it up, and start on reassembly. So here's our blinker switch. Um, you can replace your three Torx bolts, your screws, here, here, and here and reconnect the wires right here just like you removed it same place you know put it from here pull through until it clicks and then reconnect this little wire and that should be it so after you've put in your three torque screws and your two Phillips screws this would be the ideal time to test your blinker switch so just reconnect the battery temporarily and make sure you have all your wonderful wires hooked up. Then put your key in, turn it forward, test right, test left. If you have something that's not working, you might have a problem other than your blinker switch. Otherwise, check your wiring. So more reassembly from here, starting with the coil and the bottom of the dash, then the steering wheel and all that other fun stuff. So here we are with our locking steering wheel mechanism back in place and our little uh, coil etc for the horn. Make sure your tab is not broken. Ours is on the verge of snapping. So now would be the ideal time to replace this. But back to reassembly. Next portions. And we'll finish it up. So this is what it looks like with the coil back in place. As you can see it has a little knob up here on the top goes between a couple plastic pieces and be sure to line this hole up with your uh, whatever it is for the horn otherwise you will break it and you will have no horn which is no fun and illegal so now onward to the steering wheel so here's the steering wheel back on the shaft you can see I lined my marks up then I'm gonna put the nut back on and give it a good twist tighten the steering wheel back into place. Now you don't need to tighten this incredibly hard. Um, it is a locking nut in a way. And it doesn't require much pressure just to keep the steering wheel in place. That's good. So here's our connector for our airbag. Again, be sure your battery is disconnected. Just push the clip in here and then reinstall this green clip from the back, like so. Now we just line it up and very carefully reinstall. And then tighten your size 30 torque screws on the back and that should be it.